So you're new to scuba diving and you're finally ready to invest in your own gear. In this video, we're going to cover the first three items you need to buy to get started. Let's dive right into it. Coming in at number three is your own set of regulators. Yes, the whole thing. That includes your first stage, regulator, alternate, hoses for your BCD and dry suit if you dive cold water, and of course, your gauge. Your gauge will either be in PSI or bar depending when you live and which one they use frequently. Why do I suggest you get your own set of regs? Well, this is the device you use to breathe underwater. So you wanna make sure that you're familiar with it, you wanna make sure that it gets serviced annually, and you also wanna make sure it's well maintained. Last but not the least, I don't know about you, but I don't wanna be sharing this mouthpiece with anyone else. At number two, and probably your most personal piece of dive gear is gonna be, yep, your mask. Why do you want a mask? If you can just rent one and usually it comes standard with a package, well, you wanna make sure it fits well. And two, you wanna make sure that your mask is properly prepped for the water. A lot of dive shops actually don't treat the mask um, in the beginning, so you get a lot of fogging. And I don't know if you've experienced it or not, but there's nothing worse than a foggy mask that you have to clear every five seconds just so you can see. So when you're looking for a mask, of course, there's a lot of items to consider. There's a lot of masks in the market. Make sure you do your research. You gotta make sure though that it's a good fit for you and it has a good field of view so that you can see everything you wanna see underwater. Coming in at number one, and in contrast to popular opinion, I think the very first thing you should get is your own dive computer. Your dive computer actually tracks real-time information and gives that right back to you. This includes depth, time of dive, temperature, safety stop guides, no decompression limits, and so much more. Yes, you can get a more expensive dive computer that's less basic than the Santo Novo Zoo, but at the end of the day, if you're just a recreational diver, meaning you're not really diving any deeper than 40 meters or 130 feet, this will pretty much suffice. This Zoop can do nitrox, gauge, air, um, and really, if you want more, yes, you can go for a more expensive one that has more bells and whistles. Each computer also has its own settings, buttons, menu, and algorithms, so there might be a slight learning curve to fully understand how to use and read your own dive computer. When you rent, you pretty much have to fully relearn how to use that specific computer, which can be quite frustrating and somewhat dangerous if you're not really familiar with how to read it. Most importantly, having your own computer means that all the previous dive information stored are considered for your next dive. This is vital if you're doing more than one dive a day as your computer can tell you how long your surface interval must be with regards to how long your next dive will be and at what depth you can max out. So those are the three things I recommend you get when you start scuba diving. If you wanna know more or have any questions about scuba diving in general, feel free to leave it in the comments down below. I'll see you next time. Peace. Feel free to leave it in the comments down below. And maybe I'll just make a video. I don't know. I've never done this before. Thank you for watching. I'm still recording. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop.